On today's episode of the latest Tesla news, Tesla owners report auto park update with FSD, supervised, V12.3.6 release. Tesla debuts new Cybertruck off-roading app in exclusive video, and Tesla's Elon Musk meets with Beijing officials in China visit. Tesla appears to have released an auto park update with the release of FSD, supervised, V12.3.6. As per observations from Tesla owners who have received the update, auto park now gives drivers the ability to select between highlighted potential parking spaces in the infotainment system. Some drivers of Teslas with ultrasonic sensors have also reported receiving an option to toggle between standard or Tesla Vision-based Park Assist. This weekend saw a number of updates for Tesla's FSD efforts. Tesla watchers initially observed that FSD, supervised, V12.3.6 was being rolled out to company employees. It did not take long, however, before regular customers reported that they were also receiving the update to the Advanced Driver Assist system. With the FSD update, some Tesla owners reported that their vehicles also received an update to Auto Park. Veteran FSD user Chuck Cook shared a section of the release notes for Software Update 2024.3.25, which includes FSD, supervised, V12.3.6, and an auto park update. Interestingly enough, some owners of vehicles that are equipped with ultrasonic sensors reported that their cars now have the option to toggle between using standard park assist or using park assist through Tesla Vision. When you're driving at low speed, your display highlights potential parking spaces. Auto Park shows a circular P symbol to suggest a space, but you can choose any highlighted space. To start parking, stop the vehicle, press start, and release the steering wheel so it can move freely. Refer to the owner's manual for more detail. As with all autopilot features, you must continue to pay attention and be ready to take immediate action, including canceling Auto Park. A demonstration of Tesla's new Auto Park update shows that the feature has become quite easier to use thanks to its new user interface. Cook, however, noted that the function does not seem to be avoiding traffic when it is engaged, possibly due to Auto Park not being on V12 yet. This area for improvement will likely be addressed by Tesla in an upcoming Auto Park update in the near future. Tesla is set to roll out a new suite of Cybertruck off-roading features, as detailed in an exclusive video shared over the weekend. The forthcoming off-roading tools for the Tesla Cybertruck were shown in an exclusive video shared by Top Gear on Sunday, set to include new features such as additional off-roading modes, access to pitch and angle settings, front and rear locking differential controls, and more. The video shows both a Cybertruck and a Rivian R1T in Johnson Valley, California, as they test out whether Tesla's pickup can effectively perform off-roading maneuvers. Both electric trucks are shown performing four off-roading tests, a rock crawl, a whoops test, a jump, and a sand dune crawl with the Cybertruck using some of the new features. The new off-roading features include four dedicated terrain modes, including all-purpose, rock, gravel, deep snow, and sand. The software also lets drivers toggle between turning the locking differentials all on, only the rear on or all off. The Cybertruck has been spotted during a number of off-roading demos since before it was released in November, and Tesla has clearly made off-roading ability a priority focus. While the Cybertruck has drawn criticism for going viral during off-road tests that seemed to go wrong, some have suggested that these situations were due to inexperienced off-road drivers. 
Others may also note that Tesla was not yet done rolling out the full range of off-road features for the Cybertruck, as evidenced by the upcoming feature release. The video also shows the highly anticipated Cybertruck light bar set above the vehicle's windshield. In response to the news posted on X by reporter Sawyer Merritt, Tesla Cybertruck engineer Wes Merrill also commented on the off-road features, hinting that there may be even more in the upcoming release than the video shows. It's also not yet clear when the new off-roading features will be released, but Merrill says that the detailed release notes for the update will soon be made public. Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently landed in China for a visit that surprised the electric vehicle community. But while Musk's typical visits to China usually involve Shanghai, where Tesla's gigafactory Shanghai is located, the CEO's visit today was to the nation's capital, Beijing. Videos taken of Musk also showed that he met with high-ranking officials right after he landed. On Sunday local time, Chinese electric vehicle watchers observed that Musk's private jet was en route to Beijing. Considering that Tesla's manufacturing facilities were located in Shanghai, some EV watchers speculated that Musk might be meeting with government officials this time around. Musk's private jet did arrive in Beijing, and Tesla watchers reported that the CEO was soon riding in a convoy of vehicles comprised of one Tesla Model S sedan and two Tesla Model X SUVs. Later posts by industry watchers suggested that Musk's rather sudden visit to China was in response to an invitation from the China Council for the Promotion of International Trade, CCP it. Musk, who was accompanied by Tesla executives such as Tom Zhu, SVP, Automotive, and VP Grace Tao, was later seen with Ren Hongbin, the chairman of the CCPIT. Later, videos from Chinese media featuring the CEO revealed that Musk also met with Chinese Premier Li Qiang. Musk later shared a post about the visit on X, stating that he and the high-ranking government official had known each other since the early days of Gigafactory Shanghai. Honored to meet with Premier Li Qiang, we have known each other now for many years, since early Shanghai days, Musk wrote in a post on X. The reason behind Musk's seemingly sudden visit to China remains to be seen, though expectations are high among industry watchers in China that the trip might be related to the highly anticipated release of full self-driving, FSD, in the country. If any, the timing of Musk's visit seems quite interesting as news recently emerged indicating that Tesla, together with other manufacturers such as BYD, have met all data processing requirements in China. Tesla has a number of incentives to launch FSD in China at the soonest time possible. The country is home to the world's largest and most competitive electric vehicle market, so having an extremely advanced driver assist system like FSD, supervised, should help Tesla gain an advantage over its rivals in the country. Tesla China's fleet is also very large, with the company noting that it has served over 1.7 million customers in the last 10 years. Such a large fleet could provide a substantial amount of real-world training data for Tesla's FSD efforts, potentially accelerating the progress of FSD even further.